Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another break of 2022 Panini Legacy Football. Uh, quick little four box break, pick your team number five, and if you follow the instructions right here, get a chance to win a little bit of break credit, and then only inserts, rookie cards, number cards, and hits will ship. Basically no vet commons. All right, let's switch back over here. Big thanks to this group hanging in with me on a Sunday. Appreciate it. Michael with that quadruple last spot mojo. Picking up the final four teams to close out Pick Your Team 5. Pick Your Team 6 is, uh, let me just check really quick. At the start of this video, Pick Your Team 6 is only three teams away from breaking. Falcons, Panthers, and the $20 Cleveland Browns. So if you only have one team, that could be a great second team to try to win some break credit. All right, so that's break six. This is break five. Good luck, everyone. Uh, my Raiders played the Jaguars in the Hall of Fame game. Just an exhibition game, nothing too, nothing too crazy, but, but obviously in the late summer, uh, hope springs eternal in all of these things. So, so far so good. Raiders do need some work on that offensive line. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully they'll improve in the next preseason game or two. Or uh, I don't know, maybe I'm, there might be some free agents still out there or maybe... Maybe some guys, I don't know, some players might get cut. Raiders might take advantage of that, try to make them work in the Raiders system, so we'll see. Running back Kareem Hunt apparently requested a trade, and the Browns were, were there. They were like, no. And he was like, okay. I think he limited the practice. Looks like uh, the Bears is wide receiver. Nikhil Harry suffered what appears to be a severe ankle injury. Wow. Went down on the first play of team drills when a screen pass went his direction. He was just added to the Bears this offseason, right? So we'll keep an eye on that. Stafford impresses despite irritating elbow issue. Apparently he has an elbow issue that it's not that it's somewhat similar to what pitchers get that's something that I guess NFL quarterbacks don't get Panthers are not going to rush their QB1 call Baker Mayfield's in camp so is Sam Darnold it's an open competition that'll be that'll be a fun one to watch and looks like the Saints is that Michael Thomas yeah Saints receiver Michael Thomas participates in 11-on-11 drills for the first time since 2020. A long road back for him, but he could be a pretty exciting receiver if he's, <clears throat> if he's healthy. All right. Box number one. Good luck, everybody. Box number one, pick your team five. Obviously, all these rookie cards will ship. These will ship. That's to 100. We'll set those aside. Our shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they're sorted out. I'm looking for two autographs per box on average. 004 out of 150. That's Trey McBride for the Cardinals. That'll be for Michael. That Mahomes will go to uh, Aaron and the Chiefs. It's Justin Fields, little issue in the corner right there. Sorry, Bears, that's going to go to EA. Maybe we'll find an, another one that's a little bit sharper. That not being a hit, I'm not, I'm not sure how generous Panini is going to be on a replacement card for that. Uh, there's Jahan Dotson for the Commanders, Adam Kupperman with this rookie. There's rookie Kenny Pickett for the Steelers. That'll be for Michael. There's Tyler Lockett to 199 for the, the for the Seahawks. Rex is saying you heard Fields had one of his best practices. That's good. He, hopefully he doesn't lose Nikhil Harry, one of his pass catchers. It's going to be a big help for him. 
Tom Brady under the lights insert. And we've got Damian Pierce, 158 out of 249. Futures, jersey, and autograph. So let's see. I'm, I, I am still in the preseason learning these guys. Um, Texans. That will be for Jerry. Jerry B. and Houston. All right, there is Christian McCaffrey, 299. Who's going to take a, a shot at Christian McCaffrey um, in fantasy football? That's going to be tricky, right? There's Hassan Haskins, 62 out of 75 for the Titans. That'll be for EA. I like the way these rookie cards look, sharp looking cards here. Trayvon Walker. And we got a Tyquan Thornton, 108 out of 299. Patriots, that's going to be for Jack T and the Pats. I feel like, I mean, not in the first couple rounds anymore, right? Christian McCaffrey used to be a lock for the first few rounds but but nowadays I feel like that that's a, that's a little different now someone's gonna get lucky gamble on him and he's gonna have a full 17 game season and that's gonna be pretty uh it's gonna be pretty awesome someone's gonna luck out but I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna depends on how the rest of my draft goes if I pretty much have the rest of my draft the rest of my team figured out And um, and he's still around. I might take a flyer on it. Rex, you're gonna take a crash course on fantasy and put some money on Matt Ryan. Not sure that's how. I'm not sure if that's how it quite works. I mean, you could put money on Matt Ryan as an individual, unless you do an auction draft. But you could probably you can probably put Indiana has has sports wagering right. You might be able to put a little bit of money on Matt Ryan to to accomplish something. Whether it's a certain amount of touchdowns, certain amount of yards. Gilo's thinking I draft McCaffrey decently high. I do auction draft, so so I'd be a money thing for me. But how high would you draft Christian McCaffrey? Are you drafting him as a RB1, RB2? He has a better QB now. They won't beat him to death anymore. But then again, Baker gets beat up too. Well, Baker doesn't even have the job yet. Could be Sam Darnold. I don't know. They, they, they're going to have to deploy him a little bit differently. Got a, this should be out of 10. No, out of 25. Nice Garrett Wilson, 20 out of 25. Gold cracked ice rookie card for Adam and the Jets. Jets have some uh, some decent young pass catchers with some upside. Let's see what they can do. Zach Wilson takes it to the next level. That could be interesting. Oh, wow. Gilo, that is a hot take. Gilo is saying Baker's more healthy, has a chip on his shoulder, hot take, Panthers make the playoffs. There's Alec Pierce, 13 out of 299. Anyone want to second that? 
I guess they did expand the playoffs slightly last year, right? Extra couple teams can now get in. There's under the lights, Matt Jones to 75. Little mini going to Jack T and the Pat Riots, Patriots. And Sky Moore. Is that an autograph? It is. Rookie autograph for the Chiefs. Aaron W with the Chiefs. Gilo is a Chiefs fan. What uh what is your what is your uh take, your outlook on Sky Moore? I guess Patrick Mahomes has the ability to make any, any receiver, any pass catcher look pretty good. To 125, that's Sean Alexander Seahawks. Classic. Scott, well, nice one, Gilo. Sky's the limit for Sky Bowl. A lot of a uh, lot of receivers in the draft. It'll be interesting to see which one which one is the early breakout. There's Desmond Ritter for the ATL. That'll be for Rick T and the Falcons. He might get some get some games this year. And there's Justin Ross, one sixty seven out two forty nine. Dual relic and autograph. Now Sky Moore, Gilo, is not going to be a like for like replacement for, for Tyree Kill. But Gilo is saying I, he feels like a mix between Wes Welker and Tyreek. That could be crazy. Uh, Justin Ross is another chief. What do you think about Justin Ross, Gilo? That's another one for Aaron, Aaron W. Hopefully they both do well. That'd be good for the hobby, good for the Chiefs. Uh, 20 out of 100 for the Patriots, Bailey Zapp. And there is uh, Matt Judon, 12 out of 75, also for the Patriots. Jack T with the Pats. Ah, I see. So uh, Gilo's saying there's a ton of hype around Ross, but I think he's out for the season. Now, that kind of rings a bell now. Yeah, on July 25th, 2022, he was placed on injured reserve. Which does, yeah, which I think probably does put him out for a good chunk of the season. Going back to Gilo's hot take, the Carolina Panthers finished um, finished five and twelve last season, losing. Seven of their last games, seven losing seven in a row to close out the season. Yeah, I wonder. Does a Baker Mayfield? I feel like Baker Mayfield kind of got a bad rap. I don't think that sh that shoulder injury. You know, he had a busted wing, so I don't know if you could really evaluate him there. So if he's healthy, Carolina might might get a feisty, hungry quarterback. NFC South isn't too scary beyond the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? I mean, Falcons are transitioning away from Matt Ryan. I, I don't think the Saints are going to have Jameis Winston for a little bit. Could be Carolina's opportunity. Speaking of Tampa Bay, Rex is asking, how come no one's talking about Tom Brady? How does he do? Does he have a normal, amazing season, or does he slowly turn to Manning? I, I don't think there's really anything to talk about with him because that's the, that's the only question. 
He's either, he's either gonna have a normal amazing season or he's gonna slowly turn to Peyton Manning. I don't think we're really gonna talk about him until uh, until that first sign of him aging. So I think people are just, there's really no buzz about him because everyone's expecting him to do great unless shown otherwise and we're not gonna see that until week one. Of the uh, of the regular season, Isaiah Pacheco is a running back who they drafted this year. Who the Chiefs drafted? He's getting a lot of hype, and Gelo is now talking himself into buying the Chiefs and legacy. I mean, you might as well at this point if you, if you believe in those guys. There's a little mini Matt Stafford to 125. Another Matthew Stafford to 199. Both of those going to the Rams. That will be for Michael Gallucci and the Rams. Right, and is it his actual season? Tom Brady's actual season, Rex? Is it, yeah, those, I'm sure those will be. Those will be. That'll be discussed during the regular season ad nauseum, Rex. Trust me, we don't need a time. He'll be talked about plenty in the regular season, Rex. I don't think that I don't think we're going to worry about him in the preseason, where he's probably not going to play a single snap in any preseason game. There's John uh, Mechie, the third futures dual relic and autograph, 150 out of 249. Let's see where he goes. He's a wide receiver for the Texans. And that will be for Jerry and the Texans. But the thing with, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Rex brings up a good point about Peyton Manning. Like, thing with, like, quarterbacks, yeah, I mean, the, the, you know the the term, right? Can happen very quickly. I think similar thing happened with Drew Brees as well. You know, you just kind of saw all of a sudden that that arm strength just wasn't there. It's Mahomes mini for the Chiefs. So it'll be interesting to see because it could, it could happen very quickly. There's a red ink autograph, Ahmad Gardner. Was he using the wrong pen? Or was is this intentional? I don't know. Adam with his Jets. It's not numbered. I have a feeling when he submitted that sheet of stickers that he did them all in red ink, and Panini was just like, all right, I, I mean, I guess that's that's what we're going to put on there. That's all we got. Unless it's a special short print, I don't know. There's Joey Bosa to 150, Chargers. Adam, you can call it a special short print. Be like, yeah, it's a special short print. Until, until you're told otherwise. All right, next is Carson Strong. Futures jersey and autographs. And that is 34 out of 99. Carson Strong is with the Eagles, with the Fly Eagles Fly. That's going to be for Michael. Jalen Hurts back up. Is Kenny Pickett? I was just going to say that. I, uh, true. I don't. We don't know if... I don't think Peyton Manning's sort of health regimen was as as rigorous as, uh, as Tom Brady's was or is. You know, we didn't see Peyton Manning coming out with his brand of snake oil to, uh, to 
sell to people. Now for the Chiefs to 299, that is George uh, Karloftis for Aaron W. And final box coming up. Now, I always like to, to talk about this during football breaks, especially in the preseason. There's always a team, seemingly, there's always a team that, see, that only has won maybe, what, two to four games the season before? Not even below 500, but only won like a few games the season before. And that ends up being a playoff team. That happened with the Bengals. They were in 2020. They were four and 11, and in 2021, they obviously went to the Super Bowl. They were 10 and seven. Maybe 2019, there must have been a four-win team or something like that. So I guess the question is, who's that team this year? Jets were four and 13 last year, and and by all accounts. People say they, they won the draft by many accounts. People said they won the draft. Another year of experience for the head coach and the quarterback under their belts. Could that be a playoff team? Texans went 4-13. and 13. Could that be a playoff team? Jaguars, 3-14. and 14. New coach. With all that previous year's coaching drama over. Trevor Lawrence, you know, very hyped coming out of college. Those, could those be playoff teams? New York Football Giants, Daniel Jones. Something, something clicks with Daniel Jones if Saquon Barkley turns back the clock. They were 4-13. and 13. Could they be a playoff team? Detroit Lions, 3-13 and 13 for the Detroit Lions. But if you look at their record last year, there were a lot of one-score games that they lost. Could that be a playoff team? Yeah, Panthers won, were 5-12. and 12, Lost their last seven games to close out the season. That's not good, but... But could they be a playoff team? Those are your like, you know, I think everyone won at least three games. And usually there's like a two win team, but I guess extra, extra week last year, so. Yeah, Gilo's big on the cat teams. Panthers thinks could be a playoff team this year. Jaguars on, on his radar too. AFC South could be interesting. I, I, I thought that the, that the Texans would go for a quarterback one way or the other, either via trade or, or, or draft. But it looks like they're rolling with Davis Mills, which could, be pretty, uh, which could be pretty interesting, I think. That could be, I don't know what, what he's doing in the secondary market. He could, could be a good buy low candidate. I feel like I feel like numbers wise he sort of finished the season strong. Could be interesting to watch. All right, final box. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Out of 75, Matthew Stafford mini for the Rams. Definitely getting excited about the upcoming football season. We got to 299. There's Elijah Moore for the Jets. It'll be his second year this year. He's evolved to do something interesting. There's Chris Olave, Sky Moore, and speaking of the Texans, there's Derek Stingley Jr. That's for Jerry B. and the Texans. Could make some noise in the AFC South.
Yeah. 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 There's David Ojabo to 199 for the Purple Birds. There's Trey Lance. Just read an article about Trey Lance who was saying that uh, that he had busted his finger early in the season. I kind of forgot about that. He said that, that finger never really straightened out on his throwing hand, never really straightened out. So he developed a lot of bad habits throwing-wise and was overcompensating for that finger, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. But now, apparently, that's completely healed. So that could be an interesting, you know, that could be interesting. That's, I'm sure that's something that Trey Lance owners are happy to hear about. There's Ozzie Newsom. Nice. Old school brown. Jersey and autograph. And longtime Ravens executive, too. That's for Michael Gallucci and the Browns. 65 out of 100. Cleveland, this is for you. Sorry. Slippery. Desmond Ritter. We got a Texan here to 150. Derek Stingley Jr., yellow parallel. It's going to be interesting to see Matt Ryan in a, in a Colts uniform right here. This is Colts Matt Ryan. Sam Howell, Jones Jr. We got Khalil Shakir to 299. Buffalo! That'll be for Jack and Sean Alexander in the back right there. There you go, gang. Another quick little legacy break in the books. Uh, and in each of these legacy breaks for now, we're giving away break credit. So let's flip back to the list here. If you bought at least two teams, if you follow the instructions here, you'll get entries for a shot at break credit. So let's alphabetize by your first names. So Aaron bought two teams, that's an entry. Adam bought a good chunk of teams, six teams, that's three entries. EA bought two teams, that's an entry. Jack bought four teams, that's two entries. Michael got eight teams, that's four entries. Patrick with four teams, that's two entries. Rick with two teams, that's an entry. Victor only got one, all right. Let's just take a quick spot check here. So we got Rick, Patrick, Michael, not Jerry, not Jeremy, yes Jack, yes EA, not Cody, Adam, and Aaron. All right, so 14 spots here. Top two gets 125 bucks each. Top two after seven. Lucky seven. Lucky seven for the top two. One, two, three, four, five. Fingers crossed. Six and seventh and final time. Top two after seven. It's Aaron and Jack. Congrats to the two of you. 125 bucks of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com going your way. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.